Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be what I got for Christmas 2023. Now I know you guys may be thinking, Courtney, you're a little too old for this, but I don't care. I've been doing this since 2016, I want to say. So I'm going to share with you guys what I got. Most of the things I bought for myself and I got some things from others. Let's just get started. How was your guys' Christmas? I had to work Christmas Eve, Christmas, the day after, and today. So I'm literally so tired. I'm gonna spend the next three days, three and a half days, probably sleeping, cause I'm exhausted. I worked 13 hour shifts, I've worked 40 hours in three days, and and it's a lot. So um, after I get these videos filmed, I'm going to hibernate for three days. I'm gonna start with the things that, well, technically I'm obsessed with everything, but I'm gonna share with you guys like the most exciting things that I got myself. Well, actually, let's go to clothing and stuff like that. So the first thing is this bookish sweater. It is so beautiful. And I got this from a boutique that I found when, like around Thanksgiving. And I am just so happy I bought it for myself for Christmas because it's so cute. I love books. It is this Narvana t-shirt. I think it's so adorable. This is from Target. Now, one thing I do want to say is that I know wearing Narvana clothing is so trendy right now like half the kids no 90 percent of the kids that wear nirvana stuff don't even know who nirvana is which is a shame nirvana's great kurt cobain i'm obsessed i'm obsessed with kurt cobain right now yeah that's all i have to say i just i'm obsessed with him right now so you will be seeing more nirvana things come in the mail next is this harvard sweater i actually bought this when i was shopping with my best friend a few weeks ago um and i've been looking for a uh, harvard sweater for so long obviously because it's trending but like the dark academia vibes that i love from reading this is part of it and i just i just love it a lot i literally almost bought from the harvard website like their actual school website so it would have been like 80 dollars. <laughs> so i'm happy i found this for cheaper and the sweater is just like it's so comfy it's so comfy i've only worn it once for like two hours but i love it next oh my gosh i'm so obsessed forks washington if you know you know twilight i'm obsessed i'm obsessed i actually found this on a tiktok shop not going to get into tiktok shop because i can see where it will be addicting but i just love this twilight crew neck and i cannot wait to wear it. So last thing is this bubble puffer purse. I love this. This is also very trendy right now. This is from Urban Outfitters, I believe. It's just so cute and I got the tan one, obviously, and I really like it. The only thing I don't like about this is that you literally cannot put much in this or else it will drag it down a lot. So light things. You can only carry light things in this. It's cute though. Love it. Okay, so next is like more random things. I, I finally bought one of these headbands from Verst. They had like a sale going on during Black Friday. They had a couple different colors and I almost got the um, emerald green because that is my birthstone. Um, but I just love this tan one. So now I can look like a beauty guru, an influencer when I do my skincare. <laughs> So cute, right? Um, and I did not know it was like this cloth material. So it's from Verst. So if you didn't know, now you know, I'm in my perfume era. I'm in my skincare era. I am 28. So I need to start taking better care of my skin and also just perfume. I'm obsessed. So you will be seeing a bunch of different perfumes, a bunch because I did splurge a lot. And I also have one on the way which you will see in a different vlog when it finally gets here. So I've been searching for my scent that I love so much. Um, I'm going to go with the original one that I have been using for a couple of years now. And then I'll go on to what I'm obsessed with. The one that I've been using for a couple of years is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Crush 62. Obsessed. Beach, coconut, caramel, vanilla. The best scent ever. It's so good. So I bought another one because I'm obsessed with this scent. Like I wear this all year round, even though it's more of a summer scent. Um, so I got a little trio from Sol de Janeiro. This came with the new 71, and this is a caramelized vanilla and macadamia. Let me tell you, caramel, vanilla. Oh my God, I love this scent. I literally screamed when I smelled this. These two 
62 and 71 is it's probably backwards you need these you need these in your collection i know they're body mist and some women don't like that but oh my god these scents last all day on me even though it's a body mist and i spray my whole body so i'm obsessed the last one it came with is real radiance i probably butchered that this smells like sunscreen but i'm digging it i like it I like the scent of sunscreen sometimes and I really like this one. So if you ever decide to pick up the trio from Sol de, Sol de Janeiro, get this one. 62, 71, and the Rio Radiance. And it's just so amazing. So me. So next, I literally splurge. Like I don't splurge when I get this. I bought the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream, but the big one. Usually I get the $40 one, but this one I had to get it because it comes with a little surfboard. If you have never had the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream from Sol de Janeiro, you need it in your life. You just do. The little mini one is like, usually I get the $20 one, but the $40 one is like this big and it lasts me a whole year. I can make that thing last. So I decided to get the big boy because it comes with a little scooper. It's a surfboard, like look how cute so adorable right you just scoop it and this is in their number one scent which which is 62 and it just smells so good and just look how cute the tub is so i will be buying the big one from now on because i just can't get enough of this scent and i need to stop being cheap and just buy the big thing this is 16.9 fluid ounces mm -hmm. so hopefully this lasts me two years like it says um, it probably will last me more because I use it sparingly. Um, but I just love it so much. And it just, it's so cute with the little surfboard. Next, are you ready? The EOS 24 hour moisture body lotion with shea butter in vanilla cashmere. TikTok made me buy it. I'm obsessed. I got this one and I have three more coming in. <laughs> I'm obsessed. It has seven nourishing oils plus butters and it's a soothing protection for dry skin. It smells divine, it smells heavenly. And the one thing that I really like about this is that you can pair it with all your vanilla fragrances, your perfumes, and it pairs magically. And I think this is about $9, depends on what store you get it from. It's, it's great. Okay, so makeup wise, I don't really buy much makeup anymore. When I do, it's just a couple things here and there. I usually just buy my backups when I need to restock, which is my eyebrow, my mascara, and blush. But I don't need to buy blush anymore. Um, anyways, the biggest thing that I had to get is the new Anastasia highlighter. This is called the Glow Seeker Highlighter in Sun Idol. If you know, you know. Look how beautiful. Look how striking. Oh my gosh. It's so beautiful. This reminds me of the Anastasia highlighter. Around 2016, Anastasia came out with a collab called the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezy Highlighter. This is from the second drop. So it's kind of the original. Look how beautiful she is. This was the highlighter. This was the highlighter that got us all of, well, the second highlighter that got us all obsessed with highlighter. And she's gorgeous. She's just gorgeous. Look, look, just look, just look at that. So beautiful. And it's so brand new. This is a cult classic. I will never get rid of it. I still have the sticker on the mirror. I love it. And then after that, Anastasia just went silent. They went silent for years. And I think it's because they were in a collab with someone and they couldn't make one yet. But now that their collab contract is over, they invented their own. And honestly, I think it is a dupe slash, if not better, of the Amory's highlighter. Like, look how beautiful. Look. I'm obsessed. And I just had to get this the first time I saw it because with, with Anastasia, if you see it once, you need to get it or else it's going to go out of stock for five years. So... I had to get it and I'm so excited to have it. I love the champagne highlighters and I hope this gets me back into wearing highlighters because I have so many I need to get through. Hmm, we're, we're not gonna talk about that. And then the next makeup product that I bought is the Rare Beauty Highlighter in Exhilarate. Now, 
I haven't bought Rare Beauty since the time it came out for the first time ever. And I only bought their blushes because they were so hyped. But now that they have highlighters, this is another champagne highlighter. And she's gorgeous. She's beautiful. I'm going to wear it tomorrow and I cannot wait. I really love it. And I love Selena Gomez. Team Selena. Always have been. If you want to get a highlighter from Rare Beauty, I recommend Exhilarate because she's beautiful. So... My boyfriend just knows that I love Tumblr. I don't know how he knew I love Tumblrs. And he got me a new Stanley. I'm so excited to finally use it. Look at it. It's, you can't really tell, but it's mint green. And the Stanley is in like a dark green, like a lime green. It is so beautiful. This is the shade. It doesn't say. Um, and it is just so beautiful because it's literally a mint green. It's like a frosty mint green. And I love the color green. Green is my favorite color. I love all shades except army green. Um, she's beautiful. I'm, I just can't stop obsessing over it. I love it. I cannot wait to use it. Uh, I'll probably use it in a few minutes. Not this having an ad. Okay. <laughs> All right, so now are we, we're getting down to the major perfumes. So first it started off with me wanting to get the same perfume as my best friend. And she smells so good all the time. So I'm like, what is that pink one you get? And she's like, it's Versace. I saw that Sephora had a little mini um, gift box of the two Versaces that are like the most popular. So I decided to get it. And you guys, they're literally minis. Literally minis. The size of my mouth. Look how tiny. So my best friend wears this Versace one. It's called Bright Crystal Absolute. This pink one. And then it also came with Versace Bright Crystal. But. I don't know if you can tell. But I'm leaning towards this one more. This is more candy. Girly. Mmm. So good. And then this one is more florally, clean and fresh. Now, if I want, if I had to be sophisticated and go to like an appointment or something, something really fancy, something where I have to actually adultish and be an adult, then I will wear this one. But if I'm going like to the movies with my best friend, I will wear this pink one. Or like going out with my boyfriend or like doing something fun, I will wear this one. I feel like I will be buying the um bigger size of this once i use it all it's literally so tiny but look at how much i use so tiny also i can't believe i literally ate inside versace's mansion this past april that just blows my mind blows my mind so as i am searching for my perfume scent i had to stop at Victoria's Secret because that's the first place a woman slash girl has to go because it's Victoria's Secret, you know? So I picked up Victoria's Secret Bombshell and this is in the Rollerball. This is so good. This is womanly, floral, candy, good. So I've been wearing this a lot at work if you couldn't tell. Oh, also I really love Rollerballs because they're so tiny, travel friendly. And I am not going to spend $100 yet until I figure out if I like the scent. Um, so I keep this in my belt bag for work. And it's really good. So if you have not tried Bombshell, go ahead and get one of these. But then I saw on TikTok. Uh, why am I talking about TikTok so much? That Glossier has one. And it's called You. So I had to get it. I had to get the Rollerball. And you know what? This is more of a peppery... I don't know if I really like this anymore. I liked it the first few days that I had it on. I do like that this scent lasts 24 hours on my body. Like I'll put it on at night and it will be on my body the next night. It smells really good. So it's something different. I'm not used to wearing peppery woodsy scents. So I think that's why. But I just love the packaging. So I'm going to keep giving it a try. I haven't used it much. But I need to. So don't see the hype. On this yet when I went to Victoria's Secret with my work bestie when we bought underwear because you know during the Christmas sale you have to get underwear because it's seven for three dot thirty dollars I love that deal I picked up two fragrance mist and this is Victoria's Secret tees I have this in the rollerball and I had to get this in the mist 
it smells so good mm, it's really good and fruity young adult should have this one because it smells good um and then i picked up victoria's secret heavenly wow that's that's all i can say it smells so good it smells like happiness it smells like happiness my older sister could wear this i could wear this like i really like this i've only used it once but i'm loving it after having fine using all those perfumes i figured out my scent are you ready my scent is vanilla it is vanilla i have been using the bath and body works winter candy apple for literally two years straight and i'm ready for a new scent um so when i was at victoria's secret i figured out that i love vanilla i love vanilla i love vanilla i love vanilla so i had to get the victoria's secret bare vanilla because this is their like number one scent and i can see why do you see how much is already gone i'm gonna run through this so quick i keep spraying this on myself at work in my car everywhere i'm obsessed but for the holidays they have a bare vanilla candied Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. This is so good. I'm just spraying this at that time. This candied smells like vanilla cupcake bakery. She smells delicious. My partner even says so. He says, mmm, come here. What's that smell? He says, you smell so good. And it's this one and this one. These are the two you really should get. Victoria's Secret Bear Vanilla and Victoria's Secret Bare Vanilla Candied. I will be buying backup. If I get to halfway, I will be buying backups. That's, that's the deal. That's the deal. Now that we have come to realization that my scent is vanilla, there is another trending perfume on TikTok. I'm obsessed. Am I married to TikTok? At this point, it feels like it. It is called Vanilla Musk. You can get this at Ulta and their website, and it's by Namat, Name, N-E-M-A-T, and it's gorgeous so i had to get the rollerball well this is a fragrance oil mm, she going back on so apparently you're supposed to just let it dry on your skin not rub it in so that's what i do now it's so good they also have a amber one i just got this from target and i'm not sure i'm not I'm not sure about this amber one. I'm going to keep using it, but vanilla is like the number one seller. And then they also have amber. So I love these two and I will forever be buying this vanilla scent. I need a water break. So guys, that is everything that I got for Christmas. Most of it I bought myself, but that's just given. <laughs> That's what you do when you're an adult. And I'm really thankful that I was able to splurge on myself and also get these gifts from people. Yeah, I hope you guys had a good Christmas. I hope you have a happy New Year's. If I don't see you, I will be working, unfortunately. So I'm going to try to get some videos pre-filmed, but we'll see. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching my videos. If you enjoyed, don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave me a comment down below. What is your favorite fragrance scent? What is your favorite brand? Let me know because I am in my perfume era and I will be trying out more. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.